Warm welcome to everyone to our community event and sneak preview to microblogs. Boston, Hannover, Dubai, San Filiu, close to Barcelona, Ludwigshafen, Vienna, Stanford, Munich, Michigan. Wow, isn't that amazing? Uh, first of all, Microblogs is a live system, which means that you can change programs in real time. You can try out blogs by just flicking on them. It's a real live system, like the ones I always loved, like Squeak, Smalltalk, like Scratch, like Snap. It's also a parallel language, so you can run several tasks at the same time, just like the real world works. You don't have a single thing happening at the same time. You have many things happening at the same time. Microblogs projects are also autonomous which means that you can just unplug the board from your, your PC at any point in time. And there's no need to press any buttons, no need to wait for any cycles to complete. You just unplug that cable and the project is going to keep on running automatically. And to top it off, Microblogs is also portable, which means that you don't have to marry a particular manufacturer or architecture which support a wide variety of microcontrollers you can choose from. What kind of software would be nice to have? A blocks-based language that was, that was live in real time, but also could be autonomous. Basically, everything that, that we have in Microblocks. I've gotten to be part of this journey by working on Microblocks alongside John. And I'd say that my, my childhood goal uh, will be more than accomplished if we get to inspire a new generation of kids the way that I was inspired by Squeak and Scratch. For the last three years, uh, school children about 10 to 12 years old uh, have been programming what we call a snow pixel. And it's basically an Adafruit itsy bitsy on the back and made into a Christmas tree ornament. And so I think it's just a great project and it really was inspiring for the kids to be able to create something artistic, something ornamental and something they can show off to their family. Um, so I'm gonna show you uh how you can control microblocks projects using sound or light. Now to make this control a program, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna broadcast that number as a message, and that's gonna trigger these scripts over here, two, three, or four, which will play different songs. This is using Bernat's cool uh, play ringtone block. Uh, so let's see if I can make Silent Night happen. A language that was going to be visual, live, parallel, and also autonomous and even portable across several kinds of microcontrollers. And well, I thought that was impossible. And it worked immediately. So right directly from installing the program, updating the firmware and putting the first snippets of code into, into the program, uh, sound works. I'm really impressed and I will try to, to use it in uh, workshops. Because at the end of the day, it's always about people. If you have the right people, nothing can happen you can do anything which you could see looking at micro blocks the right people met had some ideas and just made it happen